high. Now we are trying to give some examples where we could use these operational amplifiers in practice. Uh, one of them is inverting amplifier. So this is inverting amplifier. Let me write this name here. Inverting amplifier. Make it exactly. So when you say this is emerging amplifier, our aim is, in, the, in this analysis, our aim is to find out the output, isn't it? When we find out the output in terms of the input, input, which is just one, then I can say what this circuit does. So our aim is to calculate V0. Although I said V0, this indices tells me that is V out, output voltage, is equal something multiplied Vs. If I find this, then I can say that whether this is an inverting amplifier or not. So aim is to find an equation like that and find out this. So to do that, so it is now the uh, analysis our aim is to find all the elements, current and voltages. It's just one voltage that we are going to calculate. So the definition relation that we use is going to be the ideal operational amplifier definition relation, which is simple. And since there are two terminals of this element, in the definition relations we are going to have three equations. In two term, if the, an element has got three terminals, we have just one definition relation. So what is the definition relation of this one is Vp minus Vn is almost equal to zero. So that means the voltage difference between these two, that is. So you can consider that Vp and Vn as node voltages. So on uh, uh, the other thing, the ideal, ideal or point definition relation. I should make this. The other equation is Vp is equal Vn is also almost equal to zero. This ideal definition relation makes our calculation more simple, uh, simpler. So that's the output voltage. That means this point and the reference point. That is ground. So if I write any equation here, I am going to end up with the current of this independent current uh, voltage source that I do not need to calculate. So there is, this is the current going inside. I am not dealing with this current. Our, our, my aim is not to find this current. What is left, uh, there is just one note here. So let's current equation for this node. And in order to write the current equation, we have to choose the elements connected to these elements, uh, to these node element refer references. So current reference, assume that I have chosen it like that. So what is going to be a Kirchhoff current law equation? Kirchhoff current law equation. 
for this node, since this current towards the node is going to be minus IRS, and this current is also towards the node, so it is minus IRF, and this current here is zero. How I wrote zero here, that is IN, so IN is equal to zero in the definition equation, so I am using this in this equation. I wrote it here, but not this, of course. I wrote it here, why? In order to show you that we put zero, so there is no meaning to put that zero in. So this equation is not the one that I would like to see. What I would like to see is something like that. What does this mean? I'm going to transfer these unwanted currents to these variables. How I could do that? Look at this circuit. This current here, IRS, can be written as voltages. Why is that? If you look at that VP minus VN is almost zero, that means that voltage here, make it different color. And P minus VN, the voltage is between those two terms. Consider this is an element. This element voltage in terms of node voltages is going to be Vp minus Vn. Vp minus Vn is zero. That means that voltage is zero. Voltage. That is that definition relation that I am using. So if the, this voltage is zero, since this is ground is zero voltage, so the voltage here in this node is zero. So what is the current here? Vs minus zero, so node voltage of this node, which is equal to independent voltage source voltage, minus this voltage, zero, over RF. This is what I wrote here. And then IRF. F comes from the feedback. What is IRF? That is V0 is the node voltage for this node, and this node voltage is 0. So V output minus 0 over RF. So I made a mistake. That this is not RF, of course. This is RS. So let me correct that. So if we put this on the left hand side, V0, V output over RF is equal minus Vs over RS. Then V output is equal minus RF over RS Vs. So this is what we have done here. So that was the our A, and we found that. So how are we going to interpret this coefficient here? It's if RF is bigger than RS, then that means our output is going to be more than the input. So that means amplifier. So we have done the, this part. It says inverting. So this coefficient tells me inverting amplifier. So this meaning minus here, this comes from the inverting. So I have just shown that this circuit is an inverting amplifier. How I have done it? By analyzing the circuit for the output variable. So that is the 